Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. If you guys know me well, you'll know that I absolutely love my smart home tech. We also want to say a shout out to Squarespace for helping to make today's video possible, but with that being said, let's jump straight in to number five, no particular order. This is Fabaro Smart Home Tech. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It's blown my mind. And we have a video coming on this, a dedicated one, very, very shortly. So essentially with this, you have triggers that are gonna cause actions. So let's say a trigger is like the door opening. How are we gonna know if the door is opened though? Well, I've got these wireless motion sensors on my doors that can trigger off when they are opened. And I've also got motion sensors downstairs in the kitchen and upstairs in the hallway. So when all of these things detect motion, they then send a signal off to this smart home box, which lives in the center of my house. From then you can log onto this box via its IP address as it's on the network and you can go in and configure certain triggers. So you can say when the front door is opened, turn on this lamp. Or for example, in my house, I have it so that when the landing motion sensor is triggered, it automatically turns on the nano leaf light panels. Or for example, if nobody is in the kitchen for more than three minutes, it goes ahead and turns off the neon who made the rule sign. It's really, really cool stuff. And we have a video coming on it dedicated very, very soon. Okay, so moving on to number two, we've got a cool light for you guys because we know everybody absolutely loves lights. Like who doesn't? Now the nano leaf lights, the ones that I've just spoke about are really, really cool, but they're also super, super expensive. Now I found a cheaper alternative that you actually don't have to rip your wall apart or destroy your wall to put up. It's just gonna sit on your desk and it kind of does the same thing. So this is really cool. It's essentially just a little smart light that you can sit wherever you would like because well, it's powered by USB. And essentially much like the nano leaf light panels, you build this thing yourself. So you can build it into pretty much any shape that you'd want. And our one, we have it into a question mark for whatever reason. Now it's obviously not gonna be the brightest light in the world, but this thing is definitely just more for aesthetics. It also has smart control built into it. So with your Amazon devices or your Google Home devices, you can go ahead and control it with your voice. It also has an app. I just think this thing is great. And for the price that it is, I think it would go well in anybody's setup. Or if you've got a friend and it's their birthday coming up, you need to buy them a gift. I think this is a really cool option. Okay, so next up on our list, we have the Amplify Alien. Now any smart home, needs a really smart network and the Amplify Alien, well, I've been messing around with it for the last two months and it's great. Not only does it have Wi-Fi 6 built into it and I'm not gonna delve too much into that because we've done videos on Wi-Fi 6 in the past. There's a card up there or links in the description. This router looks absolutely great. It has a matte black finish on it. It kind of looks a little bit stealthy and it's different because it has this sort of screen on the front of it, this long screen down here. You can actually tap through. It'll give you different bits of information like the current speed that's being used on the network or you can just have it display the time. And it's actually quite clever. If it knows it's in a dark room, it will automatically dim the display down. So for whatever reason, if you have this device in your bedroom, it won't wake you up at night. It has four gigabit ports on the back of it. And then right on the bottom, you've got a power and a WAN input. The main reason, like I mentioned earlier, that I like this router though, is because it's backwards compatible with 2.4 gigahertz. And you can go into the settings, which are really cool and on an app on your phone, by the way, and make a separate network in this router just for all of your smart devices like your, I don't know, TP-Link Casa plugs, for example, or smart light bulbs. Yeah, the Amplify Alien, been using it for about two months, couldn't complain. I think this thing, I know it costs a lot, but I think this thing is one of the best routers going. Very, very good. So I'm not sure if you guys will have noticed, but for the last, I don't know, maybe year and a half, this has been in the back of our tech flow sets quite often. So it's a table, we've got that out of the way. It's got a hard wooden top. It's got some lovely material around the sides of it. You guys have probably already noticed the play and pause button. So there's a little bit more going on inside of here. And yes, we have a 360 sound Bluetooth speaker. So the sound is gonna come out of this thing no matter where you are positioned and you're gonna be able to hear it. Now, if you wanna connect to this thing and listen to music, but you don't have a device that's got Bluetooth, it also has a 3.5 mil input on the back next to two USB ports, which are for charge your phone whilst you're drinking your coffee. 
The buttons on the front have got a real nice click to them. It feels really premium when you're pressing them and the sound from this thing actually impressed me. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to include it in this video because this thing goes loud and then when I found out that it has a battery as well so you can just take it outside with you in the summer. Yeah, that's pretty dope, right? The simple products are really, really cool. A table with a Bluetooth speaker built in. Yeah, I vibe it, it's cool. Now, coming in at number five, this one is a little bit different. Yes, it's a Bluetooth speaker, sound pretty boring, but but no, this is a big box, a big white box that lights up and flashes and plays really loud music. Now these are a little bit different. These are called the Steeple Tone Cube Connect speakers. And the reason they're called the Cube Connect is because they look like cubes and you can also connect an unlimited amount of them together to create loads of 360 audio out in your garden. So these are essentially take anywhere you want speakers. They're IPX waterproof resistant. They're made out of a really hard shell. If you drop them, it's just not gonna break. It's not like a a Bose speaker that you've got to be really careful of. These are really, really rugged. And on that, if you've lost the remote, there's also, like with anything nowadays, a downloadable app that you can get on your Android and iPhone devices to go ahead and control the lights and different things like that. I just thought this was really cool when I saw it and a little bit different. So like all the products we get through the door here at TechFlow, we like to give them a proper test before we, well, bring you guys an opinion or a review. And that's the same thing with our sponsors too. So Squarespace, yeah, we use them here ourselves at TechFlow. So what is Squarespace? Well, essentially, it's a website online that allows you to create a website and they handle everything in between two, like the domain, which is www.techflow.co.uk, for example. Email campaigns let your audience know about special offers. They've got things like analytics on there so you can see what your customers are doing, what web pages they're staying on the most for, and how long they're staying on them for. You can inject your own code into the websites. Honestly, it's a little bit limitless. I really like it. Jed really likes it. We really like it. And you can get 10% off if you go to squarespace.com forward slash techflow or you can just use code techflow at checkout and you'll get 10% off your first purchase it's all right but with that being said guys if you've enjoyed this top five please let us know with a comment down below and if you guys have seen any cool smart tech put a link to it down there below because we'd love to check it out too but for now my name has been alex this has been techflow and we'll see you in the next one adios